expression 3a plus 1 to the power of 4 using the binomial theorem. Okay, so we can write that out. 3a plus 1 to the power of 4. And we can express that in the binomial theorem form. It's the sum of all the terms from r equals 0 to n of n choose r times x to the power n minus r times y to the r. It's a good thing, particularly when you're starting off using the binomial theorem, just to write it down in its general form every time, just to help you remember it and all of the aspects of it. It's easy to maybe jump ahead, but sometimes it's good just to write it down and then look at it. We know that n in this case is 4, so we can rewrite it as the sum of all the terms from r equals 0 to 4 of 4 choose r. Now our first term, this term is not time, is not x, it's 3a. So we've got 3a to the power 4 minus r. Really important that the whole term goes in the bracket here. As soon as you've got more than one expression, uh, one term, uh, it has to go in the bracket. So it's not just a to the power 4 minus r, it's 3a all to the power 4 minus r. And the second term is 1. So we've got 1 to the power r. That's us got our expression written out, so we can go ahead and we can start thinking about writing it down. From 0 to 4, there's going to be 5 numbers, so there's going to be 5 terms in your sum. Um, and also then we want, we could write it out. Well, let's just do that first of all, still with our binomial uh, coefficients here. So 4, 0. If r is 0, then the first expression becomes 3a to the power and I could write out 1 to the power 0, so that's just going to be 1. And in fact, every uh, power of 1 in this is going to be 1, 1 to the power of anything. It's always 1, so in actual fact, I'm going to miss them out. Okay, so we can say that we've got 4 choose 1, and this time if r is 1, then we've got 3a to the power 4 minus 1 is 3 multiplied by 1 to the power 1, which is 1. Writing out the rest of them. And the last term becomes 4 choose 4, because we're going up to 4. We effectively get 3. I'll write it in just to uh, emphasize the fact that as 3 to the power 0, which in itself is 1. What are the values of our binomial coefficients? Uh, we're on row 4 of Pascal's triangle, and that goes 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. We can check the five terms there. So that's going to be our five coefficients. So 4 choose 0 is 1. So our first term just becomes 3a all to the power of 4. Really important that we're evaluating 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. So our first term just becomes 81 a to the power of 4. Second expression here, 4 choose 1 is going to be our binomial coefficient is 4 multiplied by 3 cubed is 27 a cubed. We're just taking a little bit of time to work out all these different coefficients. Uh, our next one, 4 choose 2 is 6. And we've got 3a all squared is 9a squared. 4 choose 3 is 4. That's the next number along on Pascal's triangle. 4 times, we've just got 3a. And then 4 choose 4 is 1 times the 1 there. So we're definitely going to have a term at the end. It doesn't disappear. It's just got the value of 1. And we can take one more line just to tidy all that up. 81, 8 to the power of 4. 4 multiplied by... 27 is 108 a cubed. That's 6 times 9, 54 a squared. 4 times 3, a, 12 a, plus 1. You can check we've got our 5 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the expansion of 3a plus 1 to the power of 4 is 81 a to the 4 plus 108 a cubed plus 54 a squared plus 12 a plus one, I'll celebrate with an underline, there we go.